Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to upload this video. It is fun, crazy and lot of learning involved in this video. So I've not created any video in my channel since 8 months, right? And this is a warm up video I'm trying to come back and uh, something big is coming up on my channel also. So wait for that and uh, pause this video, share with your friend. This is really funny and crazy. We'll, we'll just show you what we are going to build. Okay, so let me minimize myself. Okay, okay, you boy go here and let me come back. Okay, so this is what we are going to build. This is an emoji, right? And it has an eye, smile, and we play a lot with these kind of emojis in WhatsApp, right? So here, if I move my cursor, then the pupil of this eye is going to follow everywhere, right? It's very funny. A lot of fun in it, okay? Uh, it's so funny while I was creating it. So yeah, so it's, it's very interesting and uh, it is awesome right uh, you can play with it an hour <laughs> see yeah so here wherever your cursor go, go this eye is going to follow you right so let's start with our creator so here is uh we are, we are going to create a folder for the folder emoji and we create a very important file index or html style css and index.jp so there is no such programming language exists right now uh case not it's js okay so let's create our boilerplate uh basic system file template give it a title that's an emoji and here we are going to say let's have a section with a class that is like space and with another uh, div with a class of pupil and that's it uh, this is my face okay let's have an eye first because it has to go inside the eye so let's copy this and let's copy this so this is my second eye also i need a lips right uh so here let's say lips save it now let's go and create uh, add the style sheet here we are gonna say style of css let's go and have some style so let's remove the default margin padding from everywhere right zero let's have a body background color background color you can say kind of black uh, but not pure black okay so let's launch our html file and here it is so this is uh, something right now we are going to have some styling for our face and eye let's go and create a styling for face and we are gonna say with 500 pixel height 500 pixel and let's have the background color so like the typical color for the emoji is orange right orange and uh, we are gonna say for the radius and like 50% I don't see our output. Yeah, it's there. Now we are gonna say uh, position. We want to position it. So we are going to say absolute. These are, the, these are the basic CSS you should know, right? If you don't know, let me know in the comment section. We'll be creating something. Uh, we'll create like CSS also from the scratch. Okay. Uh, so here we'll uh, okay top, and we'll say fifty percent la, fifty percent, and it's there and here we're gonna say margin type on left so the width is 500 pixels just shift it uh half of that width so here we're gonna say 250 pixel margin type on top that's like negative 250 pixel now it is in center right now let's go for i okay so here we are going to say i and yeah have width 200 200 pixel height 200 pixel position absolute background color white okay so this is my eye and but i have the position absolute so that's why it is not uh, showing you both the eyes so if i remove this position absolute save and see this is this is my eye which is available so let's have a position absolute and apply some styling on it and yeah so so eye and it uh, 
child one we say um, left uh, of 20 pixel i and a child two so this is second i we'll say right uh, 20 pixel okay so yeah cool now let's have a top uh, let's say 40 pixel or 100 i'm not sure okay so here it is uh, 100 pixel yeah. and also increase this instead of 20 let's say 40 okay this is nice now we need to have a uh, smile right you know because that's important so we'll go and say uh, lips that's our face now that's our smile so here we will say width as like 400 pixel height uh we'll say 400 pixel let's have a temporary background color let's say red and the border hyphen radius that is like uh, 50 percent right so yeah so this is our superhero over here and apply the position absolute to this person also position not in it uh, absolute and here we're gonna say top that's like the uh, off bottom we'll say 50 pixel okay and from left we're gonna say 50 percent and margin open left negative 200 pixel right it's up to the width right four and then half of that so here we are now we are going to apply the border color so border we're going to say five pixel solid uh, black okay so this is here and now uh, let's remove this background color we'll say transparent for the moment and border hyphen color we'll say from the top it is going to be transparent from the right it is going to be transparent from the bottom it is going to be black which we have already given black and from the le left it is going to be transparent okay so this is our smile right we can adjust this by reducing the bottom like from increasing the bottom we are going to say uh, let's say 100 pixel how much uh, too far let's say 80 is 80 try you can you can do the experiment with the uh, your it's up to you now also let's uh, have a uh, something some styling for people right so let's say width that's like uh, 50 pixel height 50 pixel and background that is like black and for the radius that is 50 percent see okay this is already looking nice okay and let's have the position that is like absolute and left 50 percent okay and top uh, we are going to say 50 percent and we have to shift these elements also right we can say uh, margin hyphen left that is like negative 25 pixel and margin hyphen top negative 25 pixel okay here it is now uh, we can see we have something a perfect face right now as an emoji now we have to apply some javascript logic to move this eye everywhere right when we move our cursor the eye is going to move so yeah, let's do that. Uh, so let's go to the index.js index.html file and add your style field as well. So script and this one will differ. And saucy let's say index.js. And let's go to the index.js file, file and basic alert. Okay, let's say our alert with uh, zero. Okay, let's go and check. Yeah, alert is working fine. Let's remove this and write some code. Okay. So here, what we're going to do, we are going to have an event that's window dot add event listener, and we are going to act on mouse move, right? And here we are going to have a function handle mouse move, right? Let's write the function handle so handle mouse move, 
and here we are going to have our event okay so we first need to get the position of the mouse right so how you can get the position of the mouse you can get the position of the mouse by using the event it has something called client x and client y okay. uh, event and here here you are going to say client x client y this is going to tell you the pixels coordinate uh, coordinates of your viewport right uh, in terms of pixels console dot log and here you say client x and now client y save it let's let's let me move over here and let's go to inspect okay let's go to the console and see when we are moving this we're getting a pixel value right and this is something we can use and do some mathematics to operate and get a right value get a right position for this i right so it's like mapping from uh, something big to a smaller one right this is the whole screen uh, this is the whole width and height of this screen is the input for this i right so this is what i'm looking for okay let's go and say so we want to convert this pixel values into the fraction in, in numbers of 0 to 1 right so a value between 0 to 1 here we are going to say okay and x so first we need to identify what is the range of our screen right so what is the width of this uh, screen and what is the height of this screen so once we get those value the total value the range value then we can divide our pixel value with the range and we can get something which is in which will be in terms of 0 to 1 we get a fraction value so here we are going to say uh, again there and i'm going to say what is like inner width you can get the total height by using an inner width and inner now you have the range right you know with inner width and inner height now you can say the fraction x which is which will be in terms of 0 to 1 right so here we're going to say client x divided by inner width so x axis right the total width divided so here you you will be getting something uh, 0 to 1 now cost fraction y client y divided by inner height that is again something which is 0 to 1 right let's see our output shit okay save it and see are we getting those uh, value okay or not so if you see if i open this fraction x and y is 0 0.8 0 0.1 so if i'm in the right edge and you see the value it's almost one right 0 0.9 it's almost one it's because of some window it should be one because we are dividing uh, the same number by same so it should be one but it's, it's almost close right and if you go to the left you see the x value which is 0. 0. Okay, you see. Now it's you can see it's 0 0.03, so it's almost zero, right? We are dividing like uh, zero by something, then it's zero, right? So here we have our fraction x and fraction y. I have to do a bit of uh, CSS. So we got our fraction x and fraction y value. Now we have to map these uh, the, this value with the i, right? So i range is 200, right? The height of the i is 200. Uh, and uh, width of the i is also 200 so if you multiply this value you, you will get the exact value where your i should be right so here you can say pass equal x equals to and here you can say fraction x into uh, so my i range is so here you can see people x my i range is 200 right and false that's your people y fraction y into my i range is 200 okay so now you will get a value uh, which will be in terms of pixels within the range of 200 okay so console or log and here you can see people x comma people y now you have your input so these this is the input right 
and now you have your output as well okay, so let's go and save and see refresh and you can see the value people value that is people which is uh, 164 23 so it will always be in 200 because we are multiplying this value with 200 right uh, and uh, here we are gonna write from uh, styling part uh, some javascript to control the output so so now we are going to map this pixel value with the pupil of the eye so we're gonna say document dot preset all which is gonna say dot pixel okay and here we're gonna say for h and let's say element okay now we're saying element dot style dot dot transform Okay, so this is the CSS property transform. We are going to use translate. Okay, now here we can say negative, oh, not negative, just a pupil value. So let's have two value, which is pupil pixel, comma, power. And this is pupil x, and this is pupil uh, y, and then pixel. Save it and see. Uh, how is our output is working okay so this is moving this is moving right but the problem is the coordinates are uh, different right we're getting the input correctly the output is working in between uh, 200 right so when we are in this corner when i'm moving my mouse in this corner it is exactly in the center it means we have to shift back 100 pixel right because we want to uh, start from the negative 100 right when when your pupil is in the center and you want to be in the left edge then it should be negative 100 right so if you do something like that negative 100 plus negative 100 plus see now see the output okay this is nice right this is almost uh, we are we are we have the right control on the output right so this is almost working fine and yeah so we have to just work on a bit a bit of uh, like we have to sh reduce our range instead of 200 exactly we we can reduce it up to like uh, 140 right so let's uh, reduce this range so this is 200 if i reduce this to 70 and negative 70 and twice of 70 is 140 so this is my range now 140 140 is my range now instead of 200 okay now see it's working fine right so and my system is a bit slow because of recording and everything is happening uh, asynchronously so yeah so i have to work a, a bit on styling as well so here it goes style.css and uh, for i we are going to say overflow hidden yeah that's right overflow hidden so if we go in the corner then it should not be visible right this is fine so this is how it works right nice Okay, so we have uh, created this emoji and I hope uh, you liked it. So if you liked it, then share it, share with your friends and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.